starting a little project on the tanker. I was trying that little stubby half inch. Sucker's taking them on. Them other two loose, cut it. take them off we have the three quarter out in case well we're getting them put together we got old gibson here and things just started flying together with old gibson last three bob's aaron they're all mounted we got those four on that side got one on this side and those three finish this one out probably been out an hour and a half i suppose i'd have to look they're not great tires. We're not, We're not really professional. We are professionals, but just not professional tire changers. Is that right, yeah? Yep. Yeah, we'll get to the old coat right. That's right. All right, we're going to get these mounted and haul some fertilizer. Well, I had to bring you back. This is a farm of ours. Uh, this is my brother's that we don't farm with. Water everywhere. I haven't seen that bottom that full of water since oh, it's been a few years. Yeah, pretty good jag of water up there. Well, when you're saturated and you get an inch and a quarter, it uh, tends to flood things. Well, I'll show you one more. Probably should be doing this in the daylight. Yeah, this is our farm here. And we have a farm. Uh, cool. Whoa, it's a little less than a half mile over the hill there. But all this water's coming off our farm. It was a pheasant this morning. Yeah, he got below the trees where I couldn't see him. My land. Yeah, we've got some water around. Wow. It's definitely been a while since I've seen this much water in this country. Hopefully we're gaining some subsoil moisture because for the last two years we have had, not had any subsoil. Speechless at that. Well, hopefully we've got some wheat left on the quarter west of here. Yeah, this is fairly deep. is running into my pond at the house. My duck line's kind of underwater. We pulled it up to the water, so maybe we could do some hunting. But, yeah. It'll be, if this would fill, which it won't, it'd be two foot up on the side of that. But it is what it is. I'll take the water. Well, it's Christmas Eve again. This is what we got. Superior aluminum brightener. And I used it through a foam cannon on this side. 
and it took a lot of crap off, but it didn't clean it like we wanted. This is just straight with the spray bottle. So Bob and I have kind of decided we're probably going to have to find a garden sprayer. I don't think we're getting it strong enough with the foam cannon. You can look at this side, like Bob said, it's a huge difference. That's before. And after. But it still ain't as good as we'd like it. Let's see if we can find a sprayer. And we just put it through the foam cannon. It's making it too weak through the foam cannon. But, I mean, it definitely helps cut the grime off, for sure. But we're going to have to go get a garden sprayer. And all of ours are broke and went to crap over the years. But spray that stuff on straight. I read on the or watched on the internet on YouTube that, oh, guys say the foaming equipment's the way to do it. Well, yeah, I think it needs to be straight. I put it on straight, it'll make a game changer out of it. It was probably usable this way, but I don't want it to look a little better. Alright, we're back at it. We're using these little pump sprayers. We can't find a garden sprayer to save our butt and town. We've used well over half of that. And then rinsing it now. Looks like it's going to clean it up pretty good. you but I got that stuff at O'Reilly I think you have to have a commercial a commercial account to buy it which we do but it was see I think 60 bucks before tax for five gallon of it so anyway I'm gonna keep after it here well I saw it ain't perfect but damn sight better than it was picture makes it look a little rougher right through there and there, but it doesn't look that bad outside the camera. I mean, it ain't new, don't get me wrong. I think, I think we're done with this side. Oh, uh, talking on video. Much better, but it's not new. We hit some of those spots again up here that were darker clean some of it up there was some hydraulic oil I started the uh, wet kit the other day and it blew some hydraulic fluid up there so I've got pretty much all it all got it on the tank so I blew some on there I'll get it washed off go to the other side and clean it off well on this side we're hitting it for the second time you think it's clean and you hit it with acid again and it takes another layer off some kind of a yellowy brown layer off this time. I think we'll quit after this this pass. But that's the third time it's been washed. The first two times, you know, like I said, it made a big difference, but then you acid it again and wash it, and boy, it does a good job. It'll be good enough to get Spring's neighbor talking. McIntyre's got him a tanker trailer. But it's like everything else we get. Somebody else's junk and we fix it up. Alright guys. On and give you something to watch when you ain't got nothing to do on Christmas Eve.